Hello everyone, today I will be reviewing a blue Raspberry microphone and to make the review useful I will be comparing it to Rode NT USB. I like to review and compare microphones while actually talking into them and not unboxing because uh, for microphones and things that record voice or sound this is what matters. And there are tons of reviews of these both microphones, not next to each other, but separately on YouTube. But none of them involve simultaneous recording of the same source sitting at the same distance from both microphones. And this is what is the key to compare two things that capture sound. As you can see, I'm now positioned quite close to the microphones. It's about 15 centimeters. And this is like the standard position of the mouth when someone sings or records voiceover. Now I will switch to my sexy voice so you can hear the differences between the microphones on lower register voices. Why I chose to review and check out this blue microphone? It's because blue mics claim they have inserted some sort of vocal focusing technology in it which helps to obviously focus on the voice of the speaker. Logically you would think that since it focuses on the voice it will not focus on everything else that is the room and the reverberation in general. So basically you should hear less reverberation or ambience of the room in the track of the blue raspberry microphone than in a track of Rode and TUSB microphone. And for that I will go further from the microphones and talk louder so you can see for yourself if this, I don't remember how the technology is named, but you will be able to see if it works at all. Ooh. Okay, so now I'm talking at the standard distance where you would put your computer or your microphone once you're recording video blog or reviewing something and you don't want your microphone to cover your mouth because your mouth is very beautiful and pretty. And now we will try to hear how much this blue microphone focuses on my voice instead of the ambience. One, one, two, two, three, three. Now about the microphones and what I like and what I dislike about it against the Rode microphone. The first thing that comes in mind is the cable. The cable on this one is one and a half meter long, while the Rode has a three meter long USB cable, which comes handy because I'm recording other people and I like to put them somewhere I can't see them. Because of that, I prefer Rode more. And by the way, I don't know if it's Rode or Rode, but I like to call it Rode, like Nike. The other thing where Rode wins is the headphone amplifier, which is much more powerful than the one on the blue microphone. I can put my headphones and if I turn the volume knob of the headphones on the Rode microphone up, it's crazy loud. I never listen to my voice or to something that loud on the headphones. And if you put headphones and turn up the volume of the headphones on the blue microphone and the level is set at the same settings as a Rode, I would prefer to have a little bit more gain, which you can increase by turning up the gain of the blue microphone. But this is like a workaround because you will be turning up the gain and not turning up the volume of the headphone amplifier. Another thing I like about Rode is the mix knob. Mix knob is used to mix the playback and your voice. It comes in handy once you want to sing on something and you don't like the balance between your playback and your voice and you want more playback or less playback so you can adjust it with the Rode's mix knob. While on blue microphone there is no mix knob. You can play with the gain of the microphone input and volume of headphones output, but that will not be the same and you will be adjusting the gain of the input instead of just volume of the sources. 
which will eventually lead you to overload of your voice. Okay, now I'm getting back to standard recording position. What I like about Blue Microphone is that it's smaller, it's lighter, it looks better, the setup is quite easy, both microphones work on Windows, OS X and Linux. And the last thing to mention is, although this microphone looks like it's made from metal, it's not. The Blue Microphone is made of plastic and feels cheap. Yeah, it's made of plastic and this one is made of pure metal. And I feel that I could like smash something with it and it wouldn't break. That's something to consider, not that you will throw it, but in case. And by the way, I don't know how this blue microphone sounds because I connected it to the computer for the first time. And for the spoilers regarding the numbers and their connections to the microphones, I invite you to visit my website. You will also be able to download unprocessed WAV files to hear for yourself, which is the most important thing, how those microphones compare to one another. Also, you will find a more in-depth article about what I think about this microphone and if it's worth buying, which by the way, this one cost me about 170 euros and this one cost me about 250 euros, which is much more. So basically I accept it to be much, much better with the ambience reduction and voice focusing thing being really really helpful and working in general that's it for today thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you found it useful get on my website for more information and for the samples and see you next time